So I've been asked this question a lot of times as to, you know, what do I do when I want to work on my cars? I get this question more so, especially because of my skyline, since it is not exactly a everyday commodity. Um, it is, you know, it is hard to find parts, um, you know, work on the car. I don't have as many resources as I would if it was, you know, say a car that was originally sold in the United States. So I wanted to just make this quick little video just, uh, you know, to talk about five tips that helped me out and I believe will help other people out as well when working on cars. So here is five tips for car noobs. Tip number one, and this is especially for people that maybe don't have the time to work on their own cars or are just not, just not there yet, try to stick to one mechanic. I know before I kind of started working on my own cars, for the longest time I had, you know, one family mechanic, he's a family friend, and I would always take my car to them. You know, when you stick to one mechanic, they're familiar with your car, they're more friendly with you, and you know, they won't be biased when, you know, giving you quotes on how much a repair would cost, and you know, you get better deals, they know your car, and it just makes it a lot easier if you stick to one mechanic. Um, you know, that's definitely something that helped me out and I still utilize that even till today when I need to work on stuff that I just don't have the time or the resources to do. Tip number two. Okay, so tip number two, use forums. So when I started to kind of get into working on cars myself, I would always hit up forums. Sometimes it can be, you know, just a Google search away. You know, search on forums, a lot of times the answers that you're looking for or issues that you may be facing with your own car are right there. And, you know, it, this can even apply to stuff that's more like, I guess even factory recalls or issues that are, you know, common with the car itself. A lot of answers can be found on forums. Um, you know, they have them for like tons of brands, you know, Honda forums, Nissan, Ford, Chevy, you name it, they have forums for almost anything. So yeah, definitely hit up forums and you know you may find the answer that you're looking for tip number three make car friends as you guys might have noticed in my videos i always have my buddy jared tyler ross they're all brothers they live close by um you know awesome friends whenever i'm working on my car or whenever we're working on their cars you know we, we always get together it's a fun you know learning process for everybody we all get to work on cars together and a lot of times you know there might be something that your car friends could help you out that you know there might be something that they've done in the past with their own car so they have experience to kind of help you out you know whether it also be you know borrowing tools or you know resources but whenever we need to like move like you know engine parts and stuff like that you know having car friends can really help out tip number four social media utilize social media there's so many pages that I'm subscribed to on, you know, Facebook, um, you know, people I follow on Instagram, you know, Reddit, Craigslist. You can use all these different outlets to your advantage and you'll save a lot of money doing so. Whether it be purchasing a vehicle, trying to find parts or trying to sell your own parts, um, you know, when you use social media, you'll a lot of times find better offers. You'll find parts that, you know, you might not even find online and you'll just get better deals and it'll be easier to find stuff when you're working on your car, especially when you're on a budget. So definitely use social media, probably one of the best tips. And last but not least, tip number five, when you've kind of, I guess you could say, come to the point where you're gonna work on your car yourself, is invest in proper tools. You do not wanna be using the wrong type of tools to you know, put your own vehicle or even yourself for that matter at risk. Um, yeah, definitely use the right tools. You definitely wanna make sure you have jack stands, you know, have the proper tools. Don't try to spend like thousands of dollars if you're like new to it. Try to see if you can find used tools, you know, even if you need to borrow some tools from friends, definitely do that as well. See this right here? This is my special toolbox. It was gifted to me by the homie Jared. Um, and you know, this has some of the basic tools that you need, uh, you know, once again, not the most intricate toolbox here, but it's definitely, it has most of the tools that I need, especially when I'm working on little things. And you know, once you invest in tools, you'll finally get to recognize 
the different millimeter sizes. Uh, you'll know, you'll start to understand the different terminology that people use. And once you're more comfortable, definitely invest in a bigger toolbox and get more tools. Make sure that you invest in some tools because at one point or the other, you may need to just work on your own car and you want to have the tools ready when you need them. So yeah, those are the five tips that helped me out when I started working on cars. And I definitely feel like these tips will help a lot of people, um, especially if you're nervous on working on cars yourself or you just need to get a better understanding of how to accommodate different resources. Definitely try to follow these five tips and it will make stuff a lot easier. So I wanna thank you guys for watching that quick little video. Um, I hope these tips help you guys out. And you know, if you enjoyed this video, Make sure to give it a thumbs up, uh, you know, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And definitely stay tuned. The weather is finally getting better. Some more outside footage is on the way. And, you know, finally, once the weather comes around, Skyline is going to be coming out of storage pretty soon. So you guys better be ready for that as well. So, yeah, once again, thanks for watching this video. And I will catch you guys later.